So Apples, which is a uh, feature from director and co-writer Christos Niku, who um, worked as an assistant director on Yorgos Lanthimos' Dogtooth many years ago. Um, Dogtooth became part of what's now referred to as the Greek weird wave, which also includes filmmakers like uh, Athena Rakil Tsangari. And this is definitely in that same genetic uh, tradition. This was Greece's uh, uh, entry for the International Feature Oscar at the 93rd Academy Awards. It wasn't nominated. It's very good. Um, Aris Servitalis is a man who, amid an epidemic of amnesia, loses his memory. He takes a bus trip and he gets the end of the line. He has no idea who he is, where he lives, what his name is, where he's going. He becomes number 14842 because there are many cases like him. There is an epidemic of uh, memory loss. And he's placed in a program which is designed to rehabilitate those bereft of memory, a program on which uh, a new friend played by uh, Sophia Giorgio Vassili is also enrolled. And to create the new identities, what happens is that the participants are sent cassette tapes with quests, things to do, a series of mundane instructions of things to do that they then have to take photographs of to prove that they've done them, but also to put the photographs in an album. So it's like ride a bike, take a dive off a, off a diving board in a swimming pool, go to a fancy dress party, have a one night stand. And these photographs are then taken on their Polaroid photographs. So it's a very, very analog world. Although I think on one level, the film is talking about selfie culture because Niku has described Apples as being, quote, an allegorical comedy drama, which is born out, born out of a personal bereavement, which asks whether we are all simply, quote, the sum of all the things we don't forget. And Niku cites uh, uh, Charlie Kaufman as an influence alongside people like Leos Carax. And there is obviously a bit of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind in the back of this. And the main thing about Eternal Sunshine, it's to do with erasing the memory of something that you can't bear to remember. And there is certainly a theme that goes all the way through this film about how much the central character's memory is being consciously erased. Um, there's a moment in it when a grocer tells him that the apples that he's eating are very, very good for memory. And his reaction tells us a lot about the state of mind he's in. I thought the film was really powerful. I've watched it a couple of times now. Like so many of the kind of Greek weird wave films, it has profundity and absurdism in equal measures there are things in it that are really funny there's a there's a lovely sequence in which we get a potted plot synopsis of james cameron's titanic because the part the main participants are people who can't remember anything of popular culture and so they're experiencing all this stuff for the first time but actually i think it is a kind of i would use the word profound meditation upon how much our personalities are formed of memory and how much if you live in a world in which selfie culture is so readily available, how that changes our view of ourself and whether we are all, and this is a very Blade Runner connection as well, whether we are all in the end simply a collection of the things that we remember or perhaps more pointedly, the things we don't forget. It's called Apples, it's available on Curzon Home Cinema and it will be in cinemas when they reopen in the very near future and I'd recommend it wholeheartedly. <laughs>